Hi guys and welcome back on my channel. In this video I want to show you how to update my previous tutorial about the adaptive subdivision replacing the group node used in geometry node setup with the new repeat zone feature of Blender 4.0. So let's jump in it. You can see, you can remember, we used here the maximum of six levels of subdivision and I added this value here in the stack modifier and in the detail in the geometry node system. But we we don't want to use uh, this technique because uh, we want to be able to uh, extend the number of a subdivision with a custom levels uh, instead of a limited level. So you can see this uh, group here and at the same way in my previous tutorial about the nested cables we can add a repeat zone, get all the inputs uh, we need for this uh, adaptive subdivision. So in this case we need the geometry, we need the length, the first length, we can select the this uh, repeat input go here in the node value double click on the output and set the correct labeling length we need the subdivision level input that we needed to link to the iterations because we need to use this as the maximum iterations that we need for our purpose we will use a custom initial value of the layering linked to the subdivision level we need the threshold and the distribution so here here we have the threshold and the distribution. Now we need to duplicate one time this group node and insert it here in the repeat zone. Link the input, the threshold, the distribution. Leaving all the detail of this group output of this group node, we can link the subdivision level input here that we previously used between these nodes. So we can select this, move it a little bit up, link this here, link the threshold, link the distribution, link the length. Now we can link the same subdivisions level here for the subdiv level input. This is the total as the iterations but inside this repeat zone we can't access to this uh, number so we need to pass the same value in a custom input attribute now we can link this subdivision level outside to have an initial value of zero and next we can use it with an adding value of one because we want an, an integer output from here to here now we have all the nodes we need here the logic of the sub levels starts from zero and each time we have a new iteration we have an adding of one so we pass from zero to one next to two three four until the total number of iterations here with no limits uh, if you set to the custom value you need here in this uh, property and here we have the result of the geometry that we can link directly here in this merge by distance and you can see nothing changes on our output of the project now we can select all these nodes ctrl x to delete them and we can select all these uh, four nodes g to move and here we have the result of our new setup using the repeat zone feature. Voila, I can stretch in the rest of the setup is more clear is more powerful and now i can decrease or increase the number of my subdivision level without the limit so if you have limits here if you press and increase this number don't worry about that you need to control the limits definition of these subdivision levels inside the group node so go to group select the subdivision levels and instead of max 6 you can set 10,000 if you want so in this way I can increase and get the seventh subdivision on my surface and this is the new update of this project thank you guys for watching this video I hope you learned something about the new feature of repeat zone in geometry nodes as always you can download this project on my Gumroad page with the previous version of the adaptive subdivision if you don't have or you don't want to use the new feature of a repeat zone again thanks for watching and thank you for your support have a nice day and see you to the next tutorial bye